Yo, yo, yo. So we're back broadcasting live and on location. It's Julian in the lightest one. Latoya. It is I in the flesh. We are here with our hats on today. Hey, hey. Like that. Yeah, so we're about to get into our next article. Shout out to CDL Life Fair Rights. So, Julian. Yes. Can let me read this heading because so I because I'm having a blind okay. moment. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so driver falls mm -hmm. out of cab after motorist road rage antics sends semi truck crashing into a house. That's like a run on sentence, but let's go ahead and get into the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So apparently, you know, let's get into the article. A uh, semi truck crashed into a house after losing control behind a road raging motorist. So. When we, you know, when you browse down to this article, this article is, is crazy. So an angry driver pulled out in front of the truck, slammed on his brakes, causing the trucker to slam on his brakes and lose control of the lose control of the truck as the load shifted. Oh my goodness. Right. The photo of the house. Was that it that they showed up there? Yeah, that was a photo of the house. The truck went in, but this is crazy. When you think. All right, so here's the craziest part about this story. The craziest part. Yeah, At some point, the driver's side of the truck cab opened and the driver fell out of the rig. As the rig continued to skid out of control, the passenger unsuccessfully attempted to get control of the wheel. The truck eventually struck a hatchback car and crashed into a nearby house on Avenel Avenue. Now, listen, no one was inside of the house at the time of the wreck. Thank God. Thank the hash, but the hashtag driver and the truck sustained minor injury. Listen, this is crazy. So the driver of the truck, the, the listen, we're just going to say this driver jumped out of this truck. It says the door opened and the driver fell out of the rig. Now, me personally, nah, he got out of touch. Yeah, I've been driving for a long time and I've never heard of a door just slam open and a driver just fall out of the truck. I mean, this guy was, I, I guess he seen, he the driver had watched probably a lot of uh, like action movies, like Fast and the Fury, and they seen the truck was going into the house and the driver was like, oh, no, no, no. This is not the Titanic. I'm not going down with the ship. And the passenger was like, bro, what are you doing? Right, the passenger's like, yo, bro, what are you doing? And the passenger's trying to steer the, you know, the passenger's trying to steer the truck when they're in it. Quick oh thinking. Quick thinking. That's quick thinking. But I, I'm just, that's the part that startled me when I'm like, yo, you just going to abandon my man that was in the passenger side with you. And he just rolled, stopped, right. dropped, and rolled. <laughs> right. I mean, right. This is crazy. Talking about he, the door opened and he fell out. No, that man oh. opened the door and he <laughs> jumped out of the truck and let it go into the house because he seen what was going to happen. He's like, I'm not going to die here. Right, so and I wonder, right. I wonder was that like his his partner driver? What if that was his partner? I, you know? <laughs> what if it was his spouse? It could have been his spouse, man. It's no telling what happened, but that's a wild story. Like you, you, you see it in the movies, but you never hear about it in real life when somebody's jumping out of the truck. Yeah, man, that was a real stunt double. He didn't get paid for that, but he he got right. to save his life. Yeah, that man was wild. Yeah, he's right. a wild he's a wild boy for that one. So just to make sure I got this right, the the hunchback is the account, the one who is the corporate to have made this situation take place. He was the erratic driver. The the yeah, well, hatchback. I get. I mean, that's my thing. Did the hatchback know the guy in the semi? Was he just trying to kill himself that day? I mean, we don't, <laughs> yeah, we don't know. But this is crazy. And 